We are closing out on budget season, which encompasses three weeks of budget hearings that we hear from a series of departments, from the Department of Human Services, to the Department of Corrections, to the Department of Education, you name it, we hear from all of these departments during these three weeks. And during that time, we have an opportunity to focus on issues that we care about the most. But as your Philadelphia delegation chair for the General Assembly, there are a series of issues that I've really focused on this budget cycle. One, of course, is adequate funding for our education system. We know that the Commonwealth Court determined that we are underfunding our schools, particularly in areas like the city of Philadelphia. So that was a series of my questions that focused on how are we adequately funding our system? How are we addressing our school facilities? And last but not least, how are we ensuring that we are building a pipeline into our community colleges, into our trade schools, so we can have the workforce that we need in the city of Philadelphia to attract families and to attract businesses. I also talked about issues around mass transit. We know that our SEPTA system is in need of um, transit dollars as COVID-19 dollars expire, but we also know we have a public safety and a cleanliness issue. Um, so one of my top priorities uh, during our conversation is how this funding is going to be directed, again, to shore up our SEPTA system, particularly with 2026 on the horizon where we'll have of, um, America 250, where we'll have uh, the FIFA World Cup. We'll have a series of big events where mass transit will explicitly be needed, not just for our communities in Philadelphia, but also for the surrounding counties. And we want to make sure that it's both cleanly as well as safe. We also talked about um, our minimum wage and ensuring that we're finally raising the wage for the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, particularly for the city of Philadelphia, where we already know that $15 an hour isn't enough, but it is a start to get a uh, families back on track and to ensure that we're moving them along the economic spectrum. There were some other issues I brought up. For example, today we talked to the Department of Human Services and I brought up the challenges that we were having with our juvenile justice center where we were seeing a significant level of overcrowding. But as a result of, you know, having conversations with the department, talking about expanding our beds, you know, throughout the Commonwealth, we've been able to cut down on that number and most importantly, keep our young people safe, keep our uh, administrative team safe, as well as ensure that our young people are getting time served while they're in those facilities. So we have a, had a significant, you know, a very deep dialogue throughout these past three weeks. Um, this is just uh, the first step in these conversations, but over the series of the next couple of weeks, we're going to be negotiating, you know, with our colleagues across the aisle as well as our colleagues in the Senate to ensure that we have a budget that, you know, not just moves Philadelphia forward, but moves the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania in the right direction.